Welcome back to Pogue Mr. Channel. In this video, I will demonstrate how to perform the battery pairing setup for the Pogue SunSmart SP5K inverter after connecting a lithium battery. This setup ensures that the inverter can efficiently charge the battery and communicate with its BMS, providing maximum protection for your battery. The configuration is straightforward, requiring only one or two simple steps. Currently, we have connected the PO LIO 51460S stacked lithium iron phosphate battery to the inverter. Each cell of this battery has a capacity of 100 AH, and with four cells connected in parallel, it can reach 20 kWh. Moreover, this battery supports BMS communication. Now let's focus on the inverter panel and assess the setting menu by navigating to item 8. Since we connected a 60 series lithium iron philosophy battery, we will select the LFP60 option. If your battery falls into a different category, please choose the corresponding battery type. If your battery lacks BMS functionality, the battery pairing setup with the inverter is straightforward, and you have complete basic configuration. However, if you wish to establish the BMS communication and match it with the SP5K using appropriate communication protocol, Please continue watching. First, connect the inverter and battery using a communication cable through the RS-485 port. Then go to the item 32 in the setting and select the 485 option. Next, switch to item 33 and choose the relevant communication protocol. If you are unsure about your battery communication protocol, you can inquire with your battery supplier. In our case, the communication protocols for PO LIO 51460S and PO SunSmart SP5K are all later, so select the OLT. After completion, return to main page. If the lower left part of the main page does not display the BMS fault, it means successfully communication between the battery and inverter. Upon successfully setting up to BMS communication, the system will intelligently manage and maintain the battery individual cells, efficiently preventing overcharging and overdischarging, monitoring the battery status and extending the battery lifespan. After completing these settings, your battery should be ready for normal use. In our next video, we will introduce some configuration tips for charging modes and load output modes, helping you make the most of your solar power and battery energy distribution. Until next time in our next video.